All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to try utilizing the ultrasonic sensor in a way that it doesn't have to be attached to the computer. Uh, our last exercise with the serial monitor required that we have our robot plugged in to read that distance. But we should be able to get a feel for what distance is being read without having it attached to the computer. So I'm starting here with our good old fashioned blinking light code. So if you remember, I have seven high, which is turning my LED on, and I'm keeping it on for one second before turning it off for one second. Now, what we're gonna change is we're gonna just take these constant values out of the delay block. And we're gonna go ahead and replace them with the ultrasonic sensor. All right, let's see, the first thing I wanna do is probably change these pins. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this because I want one in each of these. So this is just gonna make it blink at a rate that is equal to its distance. So when the distance is very short, it blinks very rapidly, maybe so rapidly that you don't see the LED blink at all. Maybe it just appears on constantly. And as you get further away from an object, it will start to blink more and more slowly. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that, and then we can take a look and see how it works. All right, so this is the robot currently plugged into a nine volt battery with the code we just uploaded to it, which was just the, uh, the blinking light with a little bit of a twist. So I have the light blinking at a certain speed now. If I put my hand in front, I get this almost constantly lit up LED. The blinking is much faster. All right, looks like it works. All right, so the last thing I wanna go over real quick is our challenge uh, for this lesson. Um, what you may have noticed in our little demonstration uh, with the light blinking according to the distance is that it really quickly approaches a point where it's blinking too fast for us to really see. Um, so to mitigate that, we can actually deliberately split uh, the distance is up into little parts. So for example, I have this part here where if the distance is less than 20, I have this part here where the, if the distance is between 20 and 40, and then I have this here where the distance is uh, greater than 40. And I have it blinking at three different speeds depending on if it's in one of those spots or the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this, and then we'll take a look at how this acts. All right, so here we are having just uploaded that code into our robot. Um, now, if I put my hand here, I do get a quicker blink, but it's still visible to us. And as I put my hand further away, see around 20 centimeters right here, it goes into a different uh, blink speed. And then if I take my hand away, it goes into an even slower blink speed. There you have it.